Welcome to Drebbyville Hives, where we feel like we're among the first, if not the first, to keep bees in this manner here in America. It's a system that originated in Eastern Europe, or Slovenia specifically, whereby the hives called AZ hives house the bees in one unit, not a stack of boxes, as is conventionally done here in the United States and elsewhere in the world. This entire setup isn't so much about the bees. They live in a box, much as they would in almost every other situation, although they are housed in the building and sheltered from the elements outside. The temperature and the conditions in here remain much more stable than if they were out exposed to all of the weather. But they are within just a few steps or even arm's length of the things that the humans have to do. The uncapping, the bottling, and even the extracting of the honey, which of course is the most important part of harvesting the products that the bees produce. Among all the mechanical advantages that the AZ hive system affords the humans who are doing all of the hard work is that the heaviest thing a person has to lift is a frame of honey when they place it in the extractor. Most of the real hard, heavy, hot work of beekeeping is over. The three most basic duties that a beekeeper has to perform are feeding your bees when they need it, harvesting the honey when it's time, and inspecting the queen and her brood. All of it's done by simply opening the back door. The bees are kept inside by these windows. The feeder unit is a very simple piece of wood drilled with little holes into which an ordinary soda bottle fits. The bees can crawl around and feed even if the temperature outside is cold. The AZ hive is divided into two chambers separated by a removable queen excluder, the honey super above, the brood chamber down below. Without doing a full inspection, we'll show you just how easy it is. First, you open the door, and the windows are sort of optional, really, in a way, to make it easier to inspect the brood. They're used primarily for transport, but in order to do a brood inspection, you can simply move the frames aside till you just select the one you want, you slide it out, they rest on little metal rods, and as you can see, we have a nice frame of brood. And in a similar fashion, when it's time to extract your honey, once again, open the back door of the hive. With these two bars, you remove both windows, the feeder itself will be gone, and you would replace it with a little sliding board. You pull the frame of honey out of the super up above, brush the bees off very gently, they take a little amusement park ride down the slide and back into the hive. You take your frame over, uncap it, and put it in the extractor. The AZ hive is designed to be sheltered, but it doesn't necessarily have to be as elaborate as what you're seeing here. As long as they're protected just a little bit from the elements, especially from above, they can be placed in a very rudimentary way or even into a moving vehicle so that they can be transported to follow the honey flow. Now, we haven't shown you everything about how they work. We're still learning a little bit about that ourselves, but perhaps we have shown you enough to help you make a decision about whether you think this may be a better way to keep bees. Thanks for watching.